This is wildlife biologist Eric Orff with what's wild in New Hampshire. So a few minutes ago, maybe 10 or 15, I was out here actually transplanting some of my ostrich ferns, my uh, fiddlehead ferns that I had to move from off the lawn to the fiddlehead patch. And this great tree frog started sounding off in this tree right here. I'm guessing probably not, not head height. He wasn't, the sound didn't sound high. About, of course, our wood frogs, they're the first to sound off in the spring. And, uh, and then you got the spring peepers. Let's see, spring peepers. Let's see what we got. Wood frog, well, here's the wood frog. <laughs> My identifier with frogs. All right, there's, there, there's the wood frog. They're done now. Spring peepers, yeah, they're wrapping it up too pretty quick. So then that puts us to the great tree frog and the toads. There's the toad. Yeah, they'll be trilling now too, the toads. All right, so I'll give you a repertoire of things that are happening right now. The, the wood frogs are done. The peepers are still peeping. The tree frogs just arrived today at my house here in central New Hampshire. They are, uh, they, they actually, uh, they slumber in, you know, they, the tree frogs, they were in the forest floor this winter, froze solid. They were the dead of winter. There was no heartbeat, no respiration. They were dead for five months at least. They were frozen solid, but here they are. And a few minutes ago, one was calling from this maple tree right here at the edge of my lawn. But the trouble with the gray tree frog is they're ventriloquists. They sounded like I could come over here and put my hands on a great tree frog. <laughs> and if there was one here, and they may very well be, you just don't see them. They blend in. They change color, and they completely encrypt themselves to the background. So there could be 10 great tree frogs right here, and I would never see them. Once in a great while, you get to see a great tree frog, usually when they're migrating, and they're sitting on the side of your house where they stick out like a sore thumb on uh, you know a light colored house with a, a green or gray frog but most springs i hear the gray tree frogs in the trees across from my house so they migrate through the trees and i'll hear them here for two or three days and i'll hear them in these trees then over that way and then down in the meadow down back down by the sun cook river down in the meadow so I, actually every spring for 40 years now i have heard the migration of the gray tree frogs because they migrate basically through the trees kind of like the birds they don't maybe they hop across the ground yeah you will see them if you're out driving on a rainy night but somehow <laughs> i have caught the migration of the gray tree frogs here at my house for a long long time and this time they snuck up on me usually i can hear them over there today there it is in my yard and my quiet neighbors over here this civil war era cemetery and guess what else piped up a few minutes ago? A wren, a house wren, was bubbling away a few minutes ago. So two arrivals today at my house here in central New Hampshire. Great tree frogs and a wren. <laughs> so spring is moving on here. Prosythia still in bloom. Yeah, things are happening. And this is the week with all the warblers will be coming back. This is warbler week in, New, in central New Hampshire. More than a dozen species of warblers are coming back right now. Yesterday I went to the transfer station and stopped in at a local pond that I often fish in winter and summer. And who was there but a, uh, a yellow rump warbler. <laughs> yes, it was. So yeah. Anyways, here is my, well, those are just ferns over there, but over here, over here, <laughs> I planted a dozen or so fiddlehead ferns 25 or 30 years ago, and they have filled in. So I have my, my fiddlehead ferns, ostrich ferns, right here on the edge of my lawn. I've softened the edge up here under my plum tree and under this maple tree next to the cemetery. I've softened it up, put in a, you know, a dozen or so ostrich ferns 20 or 30 years ago. And every spring, hmm, I come out here. Some years they get ahead of me. This year I picked uh, probably a quart or so so far. And I see there's a few more to be picked today. And probably some the next day. So, yeah, kind of handy to have them right here at hand. But uh, today 
What's wild in New Hampshire today <laughs> is a gray tree frog. Yes, they are migrating to the wetlands right now. This is Eric Orr for What's Wild in New Hampshire.